Hey everybody, Elijah here with the Righteous River Fishing in Oregon and today I'm going to make a quick video and share with you two tips that you can do right now from your home that make you will make you more stealthy on the water and will increase your chances of catching a winter steelhead this year. And I know we all need as much help as we can get because winter steelhead are difficult to catch. So stay tuned, grab your bobber rod, I'm going to show you two things you can do at home to be more stealthy on the water. Let's do this. Okay, you got your bobber rod? All right, so there's not a lot of room here, but take a look at your bobber rod, all right? This, this is for the, both the sliding setup and the fixed setup. What line is going through your bobber? Is it your braided main line? That, that's what we have here. So this rod has 30 pound braided main line through, the, through that one ounce bobber tied to my, my float. This is what we want to change. Now here's the, here's the tip here. That braid, the fish can see that braid. Okay, now for salmon, a little detail like that might not make a huge difference, but steelhead gets spooked super easy. And as you know, half the times we're out there, the water clears up and you end up fishing in lower, clearer conditions. And you do not want thick braid, even 30 pound, floating down to your weight and then your leader going behind it. So what I did today at my lunch break and I encourage you to do too, is go ahead and cut that braid, right? Then grab yourself some 17 pound, let's see, some 17 pound or some 20 pound high quality leader material. Okay, 12 feet, take 12 feet is my recommendation of 17 pound leader material and tie it directly onto that braid. Now, I normally use a double uni knot, but as of today, I switched to the, um, I think it's called the double Albright knot. But um, find the knot that works for you, attaching braid to mono. I'll, I'll post a video here of one of, the, one of those knots. Tie it on to your braid, to that weight, and put your bobber stop and all your bobber stop on there, set up on there. So then what you're gonna have is a transparent line going down to your weight and a transparent leader going out, okay? So that's gonna help you to be more stealthy. That's the first tip. Second tip is, has to do with, well, let me, hang on one second, let me grab it. All right, so the second tip I'm here to give you today is to get rid of those, get rid of those old lead weights, okay? And upgrade to something that's small, dense, and very slim profile, like a tungsten, weight okay so i had another video discussing this whole float rig setup here uh and the, i talked extensively about the benefits of using tungsten weights so what we have here is this is let's see if we can get a focus on here oh come on this is a half ounce tungsten weight with a coating over it that makes it slick makes it not snag but it's, it's hard to tell right here, but is this is extremely small and heavy, okay? I have this one here compared to a couple half ounce weights, and you can see already, it's smaller, and it has a, a way uh, denser and skinnier profile. And then this particular type that I like to order has the, the round O-ring on the top. It makes it very easy to attach to uh, your swivel, to your main line, on a slider, uh, any different method there. So. But my second method uh, recommendation is upgrade to tungsten weights, okay? These are expensive, but they give a lot of benefit. So they don't get snagged up as much, they're smaller, they don't splash as much, and they're less intrusive, all right? All right, so those are the two tips. They're pretty simple. Instead of using a heavy braided mainline, tie on a 12 foot bumper of 17 or 20 pound fluorocarbon or monofilament leader, probably monofilament's a little stronger, and then you're gonna be more transparent in the water, okay? Then the fish, is, the steelhead's not gonna see that braided line. That's a tip, and then the second one is, is get rid of those lead weights. Upgrade to tungsten, they're slimmer, they have a smaller profile, they're denser, they'll drop quicker. There's a ton of reasons why those weights are really outstanding and a good option. The price point is really what gets people on, and I get it. I'm always trying to find a deal. The cheapest I could find those is $3 a piece for a half ounce tungsten weight. That's way too much. But I've been working recently with a company called Elevated uh, Tackle and or Elevated Fishing or Elevated Tackle. 
And I gotta tell you, they actually sell the cheapest price for tungsten weights. So you can get a three pack of half ounce tungsten weights for 750. And I, if you use my coupon code that I'm gonna drop here in the description, then that'll save you 15%, I believe, off of that. So then you're talking about a little bit over $2 a weight instead of $3, that adds up, right? So stock up, go to their website. They also have great um, sliding Nova floats, really excellent floats. They have high quality beads, they have good bead hooks. So if you wanna run the bobber setup I showed you today, or if you wanna try out these tungsten weights, uh, place an order, load up, and use that coupon code down there, and that'll get, get set up. So um, those are the two tips. I hope you use them. I'm gonna use them. I, I got it all rigged up today, and I hope that we can catch more steelhead this year and be more stealthy out there because that's what you gotta do to catch those steelheads. So let's go get some fish. Hope you have a great season. Talk to you soon.